We are in the middle of severe weather season, and dozens of scientists and engineers will roam the high plains to chase tornadoes. One group from CU Boulder will help them get a bird's eye view. Meteorologist Chris Spears loves all that is weather. And Chris, you got a firsthand look at how this is all going to work out. We did, Karen. And you know, when you think of storm chasing, you think of a big, beefy vehicle like our CBS4 Chevy Mobile Weather Lab. But a group of scientists and researchers this year are going to be chasing tornadoes from both the land and the air. Launching in three, two, one. It doesn't look like your typical quadcopter drone. But this aircraft is part of a small fleet of drones that will fly over the Central Plain states this spring with Project Taurus. Their target, supercell thunderstorms that produce tornadoes. We are flying based on special permission from the FAA. We're actually approved to fly up to 2,000 feet above the ground. Staying below the clouds and in an area free of heavy rain and hail at least two miles away, three drones will circle each storm. Before the mission itself, the drone's job is basically to follow the car, and then we drive the car where we want the drone to go. Data collected will include wind, temperature, air pressure, and humidity with a goal of using this information combined with ground data and radar to provide a better forecast for thunderstorms that produce tornadoes. And Project Taurus will get underway May 14th in Salina, Kansas. The next day, chasers hit the road. They'll cover eastern Colorado to Iowa and North Dakota to Texas chasing storms. We have more for you on CBSDenver.com. Covering Colorado first, a meteorologist, Chris Spears.